This is a Da Vinci robot. It's a surgical robot. So I want you to go ahead and try it. First, the standard way without any touch feedback. And then we'll go ahead and turn the haptics on and we'll see if you can feel the difference. All right. All right. So you're feeling a pain in the sciatic lumbar region, eh? <laughs> see how we can help you. So you'll so. put both hands in there. And then if you pinch both fingers, it'll give you the authority oh, wow. to move the tool. Now they move around. Hey, dude, want to take out a gallbladder? Yeah, let's go. But you'll notice you can't really feel anything, right? That's true. I'm, can... I'm seeing stuff, but I'm not feeling anything. Yeah. We've worked really hard to add some touch feedback. Are you ready to feel it now? Or do you yeah, want to... yeah, yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this knob up to a number six. And now if I come over here and hit you, you should be able to feel me hitting... I am feeling that. But that's, that's not me really feeling you. That's simulated feeling. It's transferring the sensation from the robot over here to your hands. Wow. It's just like I'm, I'm really feeling it and holding it. So now I'm going to rotate it over to a fake stomach that oh, we made. Oh, nice. Do you know how to sew? Uh, no. <laughs> Now's a good time to learn. <laughs> when you pull the string through the tissue, do you feel that at all? Yeah. But there's a tension, which is critical for a, a seamster like me. I even feel what materials feel like. The, the little needle feels hard and springy, and the, the stomach tissue feels mushy. Yeah. It's almost horrifying to think of robotic remote surgery before this. They'd have no idea how hard they're pressing or if they're about to puncture some delicate tissue. The surgeons get very capable at doing surgery, even without this kind of feedback. We hope this is just like an augmentation, like taking your TV from being black and white and making it color. Look at this, I just, I just gave somebody a gastric bypass. I could almost do this blind. <laughs> Please don't do it blind. I think you should still keep your eyes open. Surgery's complete, this patient's fixed. <laughs> Good job. Do you want to see how it works? Yeah. Great. So if you come over here, you see these are the instruments you've been operating. They're long and thin. There are those, oh, those dexterous are wrists. Tiny. When the instruments contact different objects down here, those contacts cause vibrations that travel all the way up the instrument and back here to the back of the robot arm where we've added a vibration sensor. Okay, so this stuff was already here. This is the existing surgical robot that you can buy off the shelf for $2 million. Mm -hmm. And all you've done is added this one little piece yeah. and that's all the sensing equipment it needs. Yeah, this costs about $20, so it's really cheap. Wow. The surprising thing, I guess, is that this thing is so far from the action. Yeah. But you're saying the vibrations are still strong enough for it to pick yeah. up. Yeah. In the same way that vibrations during an earthquake travel really far from the epicenter to locations around, the vibrations that are caused by the contacts of the tools travel pretty well up through the rigid parts of the robot. So we can measure them way out here. Then there's another half of it. The signals get processed by this box here, and then they get sent to the actuators near your hands. So right here is the actuator that creates the sensations for you to feel at your hand. Now if I come over here and hit you. Oh, I can see it. Yeah, you can see it, and you should hopefully be able to feel it too. Wow, that's doing a lot of movement. That's why it feels so solid in my fingers. Yeah, we're trying to replicate what you would feel if you were holding the instrument in your own hand. Really, we want to connect the sensor to the actuator so that this actuator creates the same physical experience that's happening over here at the sensor so that even though there is no physical connection between where the actuator and the sensor are, we make that connection digitally. Overall, the system, the two sensors and the circuitry and both the actuators maybe cost $1,000 or a little bit more than that. So, so, so for a hospital that spent $2 million on a robot, 1000 to make it touch capable is like nothing. Well, I, I know speaking for myself, I would not want to do another surgery without it. <laughs>